Should I spend money on SEO or SEM for my local business? Search engine optimization and search engine marketing are two ways of um, reaching the same goal, which is essentially get more customers right for your business. And then maybe you're asking yourself, so what's the difference, Leo, right, between SEO or an SEM? Well, with this video, hope to help you decide which approach is best for your business. So let's go ahead and get started. Hi, my name is Leo, and uh, I'm a small local business owner here in Solano County, uh, helping those other small business owners, right, to um, get more customers or reach more customers by increasing their online exposure. Um, so if this is uh, something that interests you, right, uh, SEO and SEM, is that something, a term that you heard before, uh, then stay tuned. Let's go ahead and get started. Uh, so free search engine optimization and paid search marketing could both be right for your small business. It all depends on your needs. Um, you know, probably a question that you hear a lot or something that you hear a lot, but, we, you know, in essence, it all depends on your needs, right? So search engine optimization, SEO, and search engine marketing, SEMs, are two different ways of reaching the same goal, which is to get more customers, like I mentioned before, right, uh, from online searches. Uh, if you target the right keywords, words and phrases customers use to find information and products and services on Google, you can reach customers at the very moment their intent is highest. And I'm going to go over a little more and I'm going to give you a little sample here in a second. Um, they are looking for what you have to offer and they may even be ready to buy. So again, what's the difference between SEO and SEM, right? So one is organic and one is paid. With SEO, you spend time building up your website to appeal to Google with the hope of natural, naturally ranking higher in free search results. So SEO over here, right? SEO is organic, uh, which uh, it says here is you spend some time building up your website to appeal to Google with the hope of your uh, of naturally ranking higher in free search results. So let's give an example here. Let's say I have an issue with um, my my heater, right? It's winter right now. Um, and I, I, need, I need to get it fixed as soon as possible because it's very cold, right? So let's say I do something like um, heater repair, repair, fair feel. Oh, let's say uh, Sacramento, because that's a bigger city. Um, let's say Sacramento. So these first results you see here, uh, are, these are all paid ad advertising, okay? You know, because it says ad, um, then these are the ones um, that Google, uh, or that the businesses that are registered as uh, HVAC company on the Google map, right? Now, obviously, I say Sacramento, and, and, and Google doesn't really know my location, so that's why it's going to pull up all of these businesses over here that have been listed with Google. But on this one over here, it's going to list uh, those businesses that um, have related terms to what I just put in here, right? Reheating, repair, Sacramento. Uh, but also, um, it will depend as well on the on the rating, Um as you can see, most of the ones that are here because there are 5, 4.6, 4.5, so 4.5. But in reference to uh, SEO, right, Heading Repair Sacramento, um, uh, this is what SEO means, right? Come up on the very first page, almost on the top, um, by doing the specific things that tells Google that, yeah, this is Repair Sacramento, I got the word heat in it, um, and then it says foreigners repair service, so that's something similar to hidden repair, and that's what basically SEO means, right? They, they build a website in a way that those keywords are specifically coming up because I'm using heating, repair, and Sacramento, and same with this one, right? Sacramento, heating, uh, Sacramento, um, so those are basically uh, S, um, SEO, right? Search engine optimization to make your website um, in a way that, um, uh, tells Google that is basic, basically that's the, the search terms I'm doing. Let's see, let's change it up to emergency heating repair. 
Um, Sacramento CA Polling Services. Um, so it looks like the and there's in a website uh, the worst emergency repair. So again, and these are they are in Sacramento. So again, because those were come up right on my search, um, and they have the site the website built with those words. Um, it, it will come up on, on the top of search results as well. Now this one's over here. Um, it, it, this one comes up as well because it has emergency AC repair. This one AC plumbing uh, comes up because it has a um, my plumbing emergency happened. So this is actually a a um, uh, review that puts the 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 word emergency. Um, so my plumbing emergency happened. So I'm not, this doesn't necessarily mean that. They offer uh, emergency repair. Let's see here if it does. I think it was this one. Uh, so, any repair, HVAC, rebase, new. So, not sure if they actually do, right? So there's, a, there's a lot of information. Not sure if they actually do have emergency repairs. Um, however, because it was listed on one of their um, uh, uh, reviews, um, that's why that keyword came up there. Uh, let's see, 20, how about if we do 24 7 heat repair? Again, all these are ads over here, and then. Um, Open 24 hours, that's on the website. Open 24 hours, that's on the website. Open 24 hours, how is there? So again, you'll see, right, that, that, that obviously they, um, these businesses that come up on the top is because depending on the words that I'm using, um, and if the words are listed on the website, that's one of the reasons that Google are um, listing on, on the very first page. Now, obviously you, don't want to be doing that if you don't actually do the, the provide these services, right? So, for example, you don't want to be putting the keywords twenty four seven on your website uh, if you do not provide that service. So that's SEO. Now with SEM, you pay to have your company ads listed at the top of Google search results page. Um, we saw the many of those already, right? So we saw over here. Um, 24 seven heat repair, and we see all this over here are ads. Now, the bad thing about this is that um, it depends how, it, it, you gotta be careful about, uh, again, you know, make sure that you know, you're not putting your business, you're not paying to have your business listed here without the correct keywords, right? So for example, if you are betting for keywords like 24 um, seven heat repair, um, you, don't, you don't pay for your business to come up over here. However, if, if, if I click on one of those links, that's when Google is gonna charge you. And if I go to one of those links and there's nothing really about emergency. Now this one over here said, um, it, it mentions phone answer 24 seven, right? So that doesn't mean they actually provide services 24 seven. Uh, so, but yeah, they do provide 24 seven service. And so what happened is what I want to go with this is that, you know, make sure you do that. If you, 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 uh, bid for these keywords over here, when you actually provide that service, right? You just don't want to be bidding on keywords, uh, that doesn't make any sense for your business because at the end, yes, you don't pay for your business to be listed, but when people click on it, uh, they're going to receive a bad experience, right? And Google, um, take note of that in different ways, right? People may um, complain. Uh, people may uh, just come over here and get off this website right away, right? All of those are things that tell Google that you are basically misleading people in a way, right? Because you're saying 24 seven, you, you bid for that award and, and you know, actually um, provide that service. And so what happens is eventually those, um, bids that you're doing are gonna just go high high or you, google is not gonna put your ad at all at all right it's gonna you're gonna be outbid it because your price is gonna be so high and google is not even gonna show up your ad anymore so again that's sem um you know paying google for 
uh, this is one type, right, of SEM, right? And paying Google for different type of search results and put you on the top of the list depending on what people are searching for. Right? But again, it's just make sure that you are uh, bidding on words that relate to your business um, and, and just be strategic on what uh, the people are searching for for the type of word that you want to pay. So that's basically the difference between SEO and SEM. Hopefully, uh, that example there helped you. Uh, understand a little bit better, right? If you're wondering which one to invest in, here's what you need to know. SEO costs less over time, right? But it can take up to a year or longer to optimize your website. This is just basically on, on an article that I put. Obviously, uh, the results could always vary, right? If you get a really good person on SEO, that might, you know, that, that may take uh, less than that. But with SEO, just think of, just think on the long term. Um, think about it, your own business, how long you'll be in business and how long it takes you to actually build a reputation with your um, with your community, right? Uh, your customers, how long it took you to. So that takes, uh, you know, some time to build up, right? Customers come in, they may ask for advice one day and they may not buy anything, but then they got so impressed for your service and the way you answer the questions that eventually they come back and purchase from you and then they should keep coming back and then they refer you to friends and family. So that takes time to build a reputation, right? So SEO in essence is the same time. If you're here for the long term, make sure that you are building some of that in the online presence as well, right? To actually um, um, uh, take the time to build that up, uh, your reputation, so to speak, right online, um, but again, it may take it takes some time to expect results right away. Now, SEM, SEM may take effects immediately, right? You put an ad on anywhere in print media and saying, "Hey, we got this uh, clearance sales going on." A lot of people will, will be aware, and almost immediately you see the changes, depending on, how, of course, how how great your offer is and how um, well known your store is, etc., right, or your business. So. SEM takes effects immediately, but as soon as you stop paying for the ad placement, you will stop getting results, right? Seem very simple, right? Somebody, all this business over here stop paying, then obviously they're not gonna start, they're not gonna come up on the results. So very straightforward, right? So so it all depends on what your needs are, how much you have to spend, and how long you um, you're will to wait, you're willing to wait for to see results, right? Many experts believe SEO is a better investment because it keeps paying off even after you stop spending money. However, some businesses don't want to wait and look to pay search for a quick positive return on investment. Some businesses even use them together, right? You can invest in SEM in the short term while you wait to see organic results through SEO. Um, so again, it all depends on your situation, right? Do you have the money It was, or do you have that built in with your budget, right? To create that, in, that immediate awareness to pay for um, that pay search marketing traffic, right? And at the same time, do you have um, the patience, right, to build something on the back end? Um, you know, same thing, just like when you offer a store, you, uh, not sure what kind of experience you went through, but you see a lot of stores opening, they basically create great deals because they want to create awareness so people who come up and try your products and services. And obviously that awareness is basically, um, I got sort of sort of uh, paid advertising, right? Um, actually, you can distribute that to pay advertising or not, but it's, it's, it's in a similar concept, right? Because uh, you 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 creating that great offer to incentivize people to come, and but, and, and, but also your great customer ongoing service, your, your great ongoing customer service, your great products and services is what's going to continue to have, it's what's going to get your customers to continue to come back. And so basically that's what's similar to SEO will be. And what I want to go on with this is, I don't know if you noticed, there was a lot of um, <coughs> customer, there's a lot of business over here that we're paying for. Uh, so for example, this bunny.com, right? They pay for advertising. Uh, but at the same time, I think, uh, you, you'll notice, right, you see that they put a lot of um, investment as well on their SEO, right? They they build a website in a way that has a lot of content, as you can see, right? That's SEO. Uh, but at the same time, they also take the time to invest into, oh, not the time, but they also um, uh, do see a, a the, the need on paying for uh, advertising, right? 
for, for doing SEM. So hope that helps you. If, um, if you have any questions or reference to what we covered today, please post it below in the comment section. Um, provide any suggestions. And if you'd like to see more of these videos um, or what, you know, provide me feedback on things that I did wrong or things that I did good, I will appreciate it because that's going to continue to help me to bring you best content possible that I can for local uh, marketing for small businesses. And if you are a small business owner or if you are a business owner that have um, experience with SEO and SEM for local business-based businesses uh, and small businesses in general, please, you know, feel free to share in the comments section. Um, that's okay. And then um, I have a special bonus here. If you are a small business owner uh, that is having issues with uh, customers complaining about um, your business having the wrong information listed online, right? Wrong phone number, wrong address, wrong business uh, business hours, that obviously create a bad customer experience. Um, if you have having issues with uh, your business is hit hard to, your customer having a hard time trying to find your business online, or if anytime they search for your business, your competitor comes up, um, then I have something for you, right? You, you can get started with um, me providing you a free analysis report. And all you have to do is come to digitaltrack.co forward slash scan my business. And uh, then after that, you can put your business information here, click the button to submit it. What's gonna happen is I'm gonna receive an email with your information. Then I will put that uh, analysis report together and get back to you to set up a time for the both of us to talk and go over what the findings are from the analysis, but at the same time, provide recommendations of what can be done to fix those issues. Uh, so if that's something that could be helpful to you, again, digitaltrack.co forward slash scan my business. And if, if you enjoy the content, you can subscribe to the channel. Uh, you can just follow me on uh, social media or subscribe to my newsletters, right? You can just basically text me, call me, or send me an email, let me know you want to subscribe. Um, and also, if you scroll down to the bottom of my website, this is my website, digitaltrack.co. Uh, you'll see my different social media channels, uh, which you can go ahead and, and check out what uh, if you want, would like to follow me on social media as well. All right, hope you have a great one. Bye.